Okay, part two of our adventures on the old Honeybourne line. Just uh, walking through this access point up the embankment and uh, once we get on top the track bed we'll turn right walk just along here through this gap and uh, I'll tell you something about the history of this line here and then uh, we'll in some more detail as we walk towards Honeybourne. Hello everyone, well today um, we're on the old uh, Stratford Raven to Cheltenham railway line, uh, closed 1960. I'm on the top of the uh, Badsey Lane uh, railway overbridge um, about a quarter of a mile, or probably a bit less than a quarter of a mile from the village of Willersey. And what I'm going to try and do is find the location of the old Willersey Holt, Willersey Holt Station, which is just behind me, or would have been somewhere. And then um, maybe we can find the next station um, in the direction of Honeybourne, um, which is, um, or was called, Brentforton and uh, Western Subbage Station, later just reduced to Western Subbage Station. It's about a mile and a quarter um, in the direction I'm looking at now. Um, back behind me, about two miles, is Broadway Station. That's the northern terminus of the uh, Gloucestershire and Warwickshire Steam Railway. Currently, um, this line has been up for grabs for some time. Um, should the GWR, GWSR, want to extend out to Honeybourne? Um, and the current uh, economic price crisis, to be honest, I can't see that happening, but um, we live in hope. So that's where we are today. Um, Honeybourne to Chelton, the old Hel Chel uh, Honeybourne to Chelton line, and uh, about to look for Willisey Holt Station. Okay, let's crack on. Okay, we're on a low embankment, that's uh, running away from the rail overbridge just reported from. Somewhere just here. Obviously there's not a lot left, if anything. Somewhere just here would have been Woolisey Holt. Woolisey Holt Station. Accessed, I believe, according to the old maps. Um, off the road, up a kind of ramp up the side of the uh, embankment there. Okay, this is the main access path. As you can see these uh, posts, line wires, and that metal tubular metal handrail. One there, one up there. It runs through there. And so on this side of the bridge. There's a bit of a gate, there's a gate post or just an entrance way there. So there's a ramp would have gone up through there. That's the main access onto the platform. And um, it would have been similar on this side. It seems to have all been removed. But there's a ramp, you see that going up through there. So that's the platform that goes up to the platform on the Honeybourne side. Seems to have all disappeared though. So that's marked on the old Victorian maps of the, uh, of the station halt, so that's interesting. I'm just trying to locate the platform that the halt would have stood on, the buildings. I'm not entirely sure how far along here it would have been. Let's have a, just have a look through there. Okay, so there's a uh, broad gauge rail and strut, broad gauge post and strut. Okay, looks like somebody's created a path up through there. So I'm guessing this is the uh, 
this is the platform area here so I'll put up a photograph an old photograph which shows the uh, buildings on the platform really standard Holt buildings uh, corrugated iron pagoda roof and the rest of it everything else made of wood cheap and cheerful one on each side a double track through the middle and if it's a pretty grainy photograph but if you look carefully just beyond the uh, buildings you can see the parapet walls of the bridge so that's uh, well that's about the site of the uh, what is the halt um, now this footpath looks promising because there is a sign at the entrance to say it's uh, open to the public although the landowners reserves the right to, if it's uh, if there's any vandalism I don't know what there is to vandalize reserves the right to uh, remove that permission so I don't know how far this goes I don't know what we're gonna find but uh, there's only one way to find out isn't there so I'll just go back to the bridge just through here Still see the ballast on the track. I don't know quite what's happened there. There's a dip just there. Looks like they've dug it out and chucked it all across the top of this. So that's the bridge. Metal span, of course. Oh, there's rivets. And then you can't see. I think. Let's have a look here. Yeah, there's a bit of a, a bit of a, a blue brick uh, abutment just there, just to sort of finish off the uh, structure. So we are now heading off down this footpath, and uh, let's see where it takes us. Oh, the remnants of a. Uh, this used sleeper just there. Back there, some uh, drainage pipe for. Uh, so that came off a roof down a wall, and that's made of asbestos, so we can avoid that. Remnants of another, of another sleeper or two in there. Thought they've taken them up and chucked them on the side. Okay, approaching about a quarter of a mile into the uh, walk, we've still got that low embankment to the right and the left. Well, obviously, you can't see it. It's starting to get a bit jungly. That's not a sign of things to come. Demolishing something to the right there. No, we're okay. That just wants cutting back. You can see through there. There's the embankment. Nothing to write home about, but uh, there you have it. There's an industrial park to the right of me. Seems to be very busy. Okay. Let us keep going. Somewhere along here, the old Victorian maps of the railway tell me there should be an accommodation bridge before we reach um, Western Subbage Station site, but Google Earth uh, doesn't seem to show it so I don't quite know what's happened to that whether we just can't see it on Google Earth or whether it's uh, been removed we shall soon find out To another overgrown bit here. Uh, this is going to be fun. 
and it's always brambles. There we are, I've got through that. Let's keep going. Probably on about the uh, halfway point now between the two stations. Uh, and I've come across another footpath. The kissing gate there. I have no idea where that footpath goes. Big gate there. Railway fence back there. Now the question is... Is that uh, what the old Victorian map showing as a bridge? Maybe it's just a uh, footpath access across the railway. That's what I'm starting to think. Still got the uh, embankment there. Let's just have a wander out in this cornfield at a minute and see if we can work out just how far we've travelled. Some horrendous uh, access back, back on the way there. Giving a lot away at all. Just the cornfield. Nope. Nothing to say where we are. Railway goes on along there towards uh, Western Subbage Station. Well, we'll just have to try and press on. I said I just come through some uh, horrendous uh, briar patches back there. I'd like to think it gets a bit better. It's fortunate the um, the actual track itself is quite clear. You can see clearly see ballast all the way along. But of course, once you get to dog rose and uh, brambles growing in the spring, they uh, pretty soon engulf it. So there's the other side. Goes on through there, out in amongst the sheep. Where it goes from there, absolutely no idea. So, we are off still in this direction. Not sure how far we've travelled, half a mile ish, probably. So, a ways to go yet. And uh, let's just hope access isn't denied somewhere along here. It's just becoming a little bit more wooded now. The uh, embankment's a little bit higher. Not much, but a little bit. And uh, seem to have more tree cover, and as a consequence, less brambles and less uh, briars and dog rose. Yeah, I can see quite a way ahead now, so I've put that really bad patch behind me and uh, let's hope it stays like this because it's uh, now opening up quite nicely. Oh, now, has somebody been in here having a bit of a clear out? like it doesn't it so perhaps the intention is to do that all the way up to the uh, Willisy Bridge it would be nice amazing how clear this this ballast shows up we don't normally see it like this in a minute and progress a bit further and then we'll have another look okay looks like I guessed wrong We're just uh, approaching the accommodation bridge it's on the old map might be able to have a look at that don't think I'm gonna be able to get down there but we might be able to have a quick gander over the side doesn't look as if it's been uh, in use any time recently. Oh, it's a little uh, metal span again. Can you see that? Little metal span. 
Blue engineering brick from the most part. Quite plain, really. They've had the uh, capping stone off the end there. You can see that. Can get him over this side. Let's see if I can just manoeuvre it a little bit. And get a sneaky peek under the bridge. Probably not. A bit dodgy. There it is. That's as close as I can get because this, uh, this slope's all covered in ballast. Wonderful. Okay, so little blue brick accommodation bridge with a metal span, metal handrail on the top. That might not be, oh it probably is, yeah, that's the original. Although the line closed to local passenger traffic in 1960, um, it did actually remain operational for rerouted passenger trains and freight up until 1976 when the uh, shortly afterwards the track all the track was lifted and then along came the uh, GWSR and uh, purchased I think a significant section of track bed 25,000 pounds and basically the rest is history caught much sight of the railway boundary fence uh, on this particular walk so there's an open spot and there's some wooden posts looks like they've swapped the, la uh, the line wires for barbed wire I'm running off through there all the posts still standing so they're looking pretty good nick to probably oak well there you go there's a bit of the fence and we've got another footpath coming in from the right here into that field of barley. Let's see the. Uh, I guess that's part of Dover's Hill up there, way on the skyline. Right, we've lost the uh, trees. As a consequence, it's a bit more overgrown again. Not too bad. Well, I'm now listening out for the sounds of traffic on the uh, Western Subbage to Brentford and B Road on the bridge. Can't hear anything yet. But um, we can't be too far off said bridge. Oh, that's, I'm going to stop. One of my favourite plants there. Here you go. Toad flax. That's like an antirrhinum. Isn't that pretty? Okay. There you go. Right. It's opening up again. Which is encouraging. I can't see a thing to the right or the left. What do we have there? Another, another footpath. Coming from that side. Don't know where that goes or where it comes from. Rather a nice little wildflower area here. Knapweed, ragwort, oh dear, I don't really want that, but never mind. Oh well, we'll press on. Flowers. And some uh, fireweed there, willow herb. They always say when that goes to seed and blows everywhere, autumn's just around the corner. So we've got a ways to go yet, which is good. It's a very pleasant little spot. Interesting. There's a walnut tree there. I wonder if that's grown up from a walnut slung out of a railway carriage window. 
Makes you wonder. There we go then. More big trees. I guess we're between three quarters of a mile and a mile in now. But I'm still not hearing road traffic. Oh yeah, this has been this has been cut back here. Definitely cut back. Which is good. More willow herb on the right there. Oh, that is starting to go to seed. Oh dear. Okay. A kink in the track in the walk there. Another access point in on my left. Looks like that goes to a, to a farm. And then we've got a bare patch of uh, ballast. Ah. And we're now entering a cutting. Okay. And this is all cut right back now. So we're in a cutting. And then suddenly we got this. So what on earth has gone on here? We'll wait till we get over the brow of this hill to find out, I guess. galvanised uh, gate up there. And uh, that goes, basically it looks as if they just, just as if they filled the cutting in then. Oh God knows where that goes. They must have filled the cutting in. So was there an accommodation bridge across the top? Just a narrow bridge or even a metal bridge. So we need to go down the other side. I suddenly notice it's getting rather warm and humid again. The weather's gone bonkers this year. Right, we're back in the cutting. Okay. An old concrete bunker. The sand, I suspect. Lost its top, obviously. Yeah. Okay. And the curtain's got a bit uh, deeper. What do you suppose that is? It's a long straight edge. Right, I'm even more confused now. Is the one on the other side? There's something in there, but I don't know what it is. further along then. And we've got a blue and red brick wall just here. Just the other side of that uh, point where they filled the cutting in. I wonder what that was. No idea. I have to look on the old Victorian maps again. 
See if I can fathom that one out. It's collapsed in the middle. Interesting. Okay, we've made it. There's the uh, road bridge. It's the western subage to Brentforton uh, B Road. I hope to hope we can get under the bridge. All I can see in front of me is a wall of brambles at the moment. Hopefully there's a uh, sharp left turn just here. Now we're approaching what was Western Subbage Railway Station. Just the other side of this bridge. Oh yeah, we can get through. There we are. Finally made it. Have a look at the bridge. Oh, we've got some supports on this one. Okay. Just get rid of that bramble out of my arm. There we are. Yeah, a bit of strengthening on there. Again, a metal span. Blue brick abutments. Nice feature on the clock caught on the, on the ends of each uh, rail, uh, bridge. And a quick deco under here. Oh, that's a nice build. Mm. gains access through that point. Big crack in that buttress there. But not in bad nick. And so these bridges have to be maintained by somebody um, whilst Lost of Warwick Schistine Railway makes up its mind whether it's gonna buy the remaining line from Broadway to Honeybourne and uh, take it all on. Right, that's the bridge. Uh, I, we're not going to see a lot here, but um, I can already see in plain sight a very important clue. So just go a little bit further down here, but I'm not going to go too far. Rather splendid. Uh, White bud Lear there. There's like they're partying over the back somewhere. There we are. Swim through here. Somewhere just about here, where it widens out, would have been Western Subbage Railway Station. I'll put the picture up now. And uh, you can't see a lot, but the important clue it's just there. Those pine trees along this uh, left hand side in the picture will be original pine trees when the railway was there. So that's the best clue you're going to get. Apart from that, it's all overgrown. That was quite a hike, but a very interesting walk. Thank you.
Okay, this is about a week later after I visited uh, Willisey to Western Subbage and at Western Subbage Station. This is actually the last bridge before Honeybourne. I thought I'd try and get out of here. As you can see, or well, probably here, there's a gale blowing. It's not raining, but there's a very high wind. And I thought we'd finish the video completely Part two anyway, with a quick look at the bridge. This is the Mickleton to Honeybourne Road, little back road. So we'll have a look at this. Same construction as the rest. And I'm going to span. No supports on this one, although. So Network Rail must be happy that this one's same for the moment. It is on a little back road, I guess, but so was one of the other ones. And that had those massive jacks on it. And there you go. The wind really picked up now. Oh, you hear it blowing through the trees in the background. I'll just move forward a bit. If I go forward too far, you probably won't hear me speaking for uh, wind noise. We'll have a look underneath. So I can get there. See that same slightly arched brickwork. See this this one doesn't look too bad condition at all. Oh, or does it? No, that looks really bad. That uh, I don't know if you can see that. That's rusted out completely. That girl. At least the base of it is. That's not good. Okay. So through there about a quarter of a mile is the uh, Cotswold line, Honeybourne station. I don't think we're going to be getting through there at any time soon. Quick look from this side. I'm going to turn into, turn into the wind now so I'll, I'll just shut up. Good condition apart from that girder. Rather interesting ferns growing on there. There you go. Use your graffiti, of course. So I say that's it, that's the final bridge before um, it hits uh, the Cotswold line at Honeybourne. Well, we're going to shut down now and uh, have a look a little bit farther back towards uh, Western Summit and see what we can see back there. Well, that's the access point then, in off the uh, Bickleton Honeybourne back road. Um, there's a couple of gateways about 100 yards from this point where you can park. It's a pretty quiet road, so 
let's have a little wander. Now we're going back on ourselves now. This is from the bridge, or the final bridge, towards the penultimate bridge. That's Buckle Street. And that goes across to uh, Badsea. That's a very busy road. There's nowhere to park. There's no access off the bridge, so um, I gave up on that one and uh, luckily managed to get through to this one. So again, it's been cut back. We're in a bit of a cutting at present. I'll show you that in a sec. There you go. Very shallow cut. See at the base of that, that uh, apple tree, there's a sawn off telegraph pole. Okay, so they're keeping this open all the way from Broadway, the northern uh, edge of the Great Western. Uh, Gloucestershire and Warwickshire Railway all the way down to the final bridge on the line just before Honeybourne Wind's not quite so bad here but you expect you can hear it whistling through the trees on either side the Structure there, what's that? Oh, that's an inspection chamber A big pipe in there. Hmm. There's the track bed showing through again. Ballast. I'm going into an open area now, so you'll probably lose my voice. The wind noise. Oh, died off. So what's that? That's a. Uh, that's an eye beam. I wonder where that came from. Yeah, an eye beam. A load of concrete slabbing there. I think the wind's abated a little bit. Still pretty windy though. track this is actually cut back in fact this has been cut back pretty recently that stuff's still got leaf on so within the last couple of months anyone like to hazard a guess what that was supported on each end by a concrete post a hole in the top it's underneath the top anyway on the on the end just around here an identical hole on the other end and then you can see that like slots slots on that side probably can't see them slots down in there on the back three individual boxes something electrical may happen maybe maybe anyone have any thoughts on it in the comments please To me, oh, we are now on an embankment. Where that appeared from. An embankment now, there's a ditch down in there. The fence, I think, is way across. Yeah, way across there. Can't actually see fence posts, but you can see daylight. So, we've gone onto an embankment from a shallow cutting. Tucked away in there, almost out of sight. 
another lidless sand bunker. Place is crawling with them. And what do we have here? Footpath. We have a footpath. Okay. Have a look down there. Oh, it's an official footpath, got the signage. Where on earth that goes? I have absolutely no idea. Well, that's the windy side. the track bed have a quick look and that goes either that way or this way Hey, is there? Let's see the big block of concrete then. Yeah. What's that all about, do you suppose? Access bridge? May well have been. more big blocks of concrete dumped in there. Another one there. And if there were a bit of thinking caps on about that one, it appears to be something to do with those uh, access to those buildings. There's a footpath coming in from the right and from the left, just here. There's another one of those little blue signs. Exactly the same thing. Railway paths, walk.uk. So it's an official footpath. Goes off over there. Joins up with the sheep. And where it goes, I have no idea. So, onward. And there's a culvert buried in there. There's the parapet wall, still intact. Fortunately, I can't get any closer to see the uh, arch. There we go. You'd spot that in the middle of summer, would you? Oh, it's fine. Okay, as you can see, this particular section isn't uh, getting any maintenance. You can hear the noise in the background. There's a uh, industrial complex over to my left. And if we had smaller vision, there's a sewage treatment works over to my right. And I'm very glad it's not a hot day because it stinks. Okay, I'm just gonna carry on up through here. As you can see, this isn't getting uh, any maintenance opening up or anything. There's 
a uh, piece of broad gauge rail, there was a sign on there. Not sure what, was it a uh, mile post possibly? Don't see anything lying around. Oh, there's a broken up sand bunker as well. So yeah, mile post, gradient marker, warning of electric uh, wires. Pays your money, takes your choice. Tucked in amongst the stinging metals back there. You can see that stub of a quite large telegraph pole. So that might be what the signpost is for. Yeah. You can hear traffic noise. So Basically what I've done, I've just shut the camera down. We're not finding anything particular. I've just shut the camera down and legged it in an attempt to get as close as I can to the Buckle Street Bridge. So, so the traffic's very loud now. Well, I can't be far off. It's just progress is being impeded by spiky things. As usual. Oh, here we go. Hanging down brambles. Oh, all of a sudden, I can see the bridge. Marks out of 10 for persistence, anybody? Here we are. I'm just tangled up in the brambles. So, this is Buckle Street. This is uh, Western Subbage. Bad Z. Look at this one. Oh, this one looks in good condition too. Same iron girder span, of course. Abutments and buttresses looking pretty good condition. Not sure we've fallen over there. Okay, let's have a look over this side. Can't see a lot there. No graffiti. No. This here is obviously the issue. But they put in something a bit more permanent. They put in a red brick pier. Fairly recently, by the looks of that, and all. Yeah. Use the concrete. Oh, yes, I can see why. You can see that the rust in that uh, girder. That looks very dodgy. The other ones look absolutely fine. Same slightly arched brickwork. What to expect from this railway, particular railway. on both sides look really good. No cracks and fallen uh, brickwork, nothing. So there we have it. I was going to give up uh, back there, but I'm glad I didn't. Let's have a look at it from the other side. That's looking back towards Western Subbage. The bit we haven't uh, walked. I'm not too concerned about that, to be honest. Parapet wall on the end. A little parapet across the span. A little bit of parapet wall on the end just to finish it off. And there we are. And there's that rather impressive uh, red brick pier. Okay. So We've gone at it from two different directions, more by necessity and saving my knees than anything. So that's it, that's uh, uh, all the bridges from uh, Rollway to Honeybourne covered. And uh, I've now just got to walk back 
down there a couple of miles to the car and uh, we'll call that one a wrap please like and subscribe hit the notification bell and I'll uh, see you all again very soon probably somewhere in the vicinity of Bought on the Water